This is Daily Dose of Daryl entitled Tangible Links. This China cabinet <clears throat> was built by my father for my mother many, many decades ago. In fact, my father's been in heaven over 30 years. <clears throat> this particular dollhouse I built for Suzanne many, many decades ago also, over 30 years. <clears throat> These boxes contain things that are fairly old, <laughs> most of them over 30 years. And these are things that I call tangible links. You see, this China hutch built for my mother, was used by my mother. <clears throat> she used it in her home. And then after she went to heaven, I got it. And I used it in my conference room to help with uh, the church meetings and the Lions Club meeting and counseling sessions. It was a nice piece of furniture and it held pictures like Talmadge Nelson and I standing together, he being 105 and a half, uh, my role model. And now that's going to be uh, shipped. The movers are, are going to take that on an 11 hour trip along with the dollhouse and some other items. <clears throat> These particular things like this chair that was used by my mother for years and this table and chair that was built by my father for his grandchildren. This little curio cabinet that held my mother's and father's 40th wedding anniversary things he uh, died uh, like just uh, a smidgen before the 50th anniversary. The cedar chest that uh, my mother used and is now full of papers and things that go back to kindergarten and through high school. And so <clears throat> these are tangible links. They're not that valuable, even though a moving company, uh, the way they charge, it seems like they're pretty valuable, but they're important. And they're links from one generation to the next to the next. And as these are being transported with loving care uh, by an expert company, I'm reminded that in each of our lives, we have links to the generations that come before. And many times these are invisible links, things that have been passed on, sayings, uh, principles, values, and things like that. And those are all great. <clears throat> but I encourage you to look around for ways to help make those tangible, to connect the generations from one to the other, and to pass not only those values on, but the reminder that real people uh, made and used these items, and they did them with love, and they've been passed on from one generation to the next. So as you examine your life uh, today on this Daily Dose of Daryl, look for the tangible links that have been placed in your care, your guardianship, your stewardship, and look for ways that you can pass those or maybe some of your own to others that will give them that link to their past and their future. I couldn't help but think as the truck cranked up and sat beside my studio in just a few moments it would be leaving and the transition would be complete from one generation to the next and to the next. So I stand here holding hands with one generation and the next and tangibly passing things along to remind all of us that we're a connection to the next generation pass along good things, good values, and also some tangible things. Speaking of tangible, after doing something like that, you need a reward, a good snack, something to make the eyes not quite as moist, <laughs> but really taste good. This Daily Dose of Daryl, make your life, your love, tangible. This is Daily Dose of Daryl entitled Tangible Links. We are all links from one generation to the next, whether in family or society. It is important to make our links of love tangible. I am Daryl R. Peebles, an ordained minister trained in art and the fire service. 
I've retired from the local pastorate after 47 years, sharing my ministry in a broader range. Now producing digitally recorded presentations made just for you. Call me at 336-516-3793, send an email to darylpeoples at gmail.com, or go to the website darylpeoples.com. Let us still go to box 953 in Graham. Subscribe to this channel, share it with others. All of you, please click like, and then come back each day for something fresh and new. But now, have a great day. Make it a great day. It's the only one you have. And remember, make your love tangible as you connect one generation to the next. And God will certainly bless you. Be filled with the power that's available to you now. It's a power for living. And God bless you. And share that blessing with others.